Hi, I'm Sophia Sendro, and I'm a sophomore in high school, and this is my force, uh, force project with the ore. So right here is an FSR, force sensing resistor. Um, it's very sensitive. Um, and then connected with a wire down here is the light blue bean. So I plug this 3 volt um, lithium battery into the bean. And then I'm able to touch this sensor and I'm able to log force. So right now, oh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I would like to eventually um, be able to measure the maximum force, minimum force, and then average out all the force measurements to see average. Okay, what we're going to do then is we're going to send this information via Bluetooth then to a iPhone or an Android. So what we're looking at is the development of an app. Yes, that can take this data and then average it out. And for expansion, we want to have the ability then to add maybe other parameters as we see fit, Such other than just the force sensor. But the beauty is the beam also monitors and records other parameters, which are? Temp it monitors temperature and acceleration. So in terms of looking at paddle efficiency and performance by getting force, by getting temperature, by getting acceleration, we can really have a pretty good idea of the, uh, the stroke of the paddler, correct? Yes. Okay, excellent job. And we'll see if uh, we can get you a good app built for this. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this is when I have the three volt lithium battery already plugged in. So then it shows up via Bluetooth onto my app. So I click on this and it will connect to the bean and it starts reading these um, last four rows are acceleration parameters and then this first row is force. So right now I'm not touching the sensor so it's coming in mostly zeros. Okay, so the resolution is really terrific on this. So when, uh, when it's pressed down it'll go anywhere from a zero condition and what's the maximum we can read? Up about 900 approximately. So we get a tremendous variation. And one of the things that's going to be done is this is going to be calibrated with some load on it. So we'll know the equivalent uh, resistance change, or in this case, the number representing so many pounds of force, correct? Yes. Excellent. Well, let's get an app built.